Okay, so now, as we have seen in the previous lecture, based on the add component scan annotation, Spring will look in the base package on which the add component scan is added, and it will look on the base package and all of its sub, -pack sub packages, and it will, and if it finds a class annotated with the add component annotation and also with all of its sub annotations, but we don't go into detail right now it will add the specific bin to the application context. Now, let me just uh, demonstrate to you that this Spring Boot at Spring Boot application has three uh, annotations that are being automatically added. So I'm just going to delete this. Let me add add component scan. Let me add enable auto configuration and the configuration class. Now, if I start here, if I start here, you will see I have the same uh, the same approach, the same behavior, because by default, all these three annotations are being added with this simple annotation. And this is the power of Spring Boot. Now, I, we will explain in later videos the other two annotations, but for now, let me just go to Person DAO, and I'm going to explain to you what, uh, when, where this name, Person DAO, comes from. So when uh, Spring finds a class with the add component annotation, it will create an object, as I said, with a singleton bin, and it will the name of the specific object will be the name of the class with a uh, lowercase the first letter. So if it's the name person DAO, it will be person DAO with lowercase p. Now you can override this by doing this simple uh, adding my person DAO bin. So you can open parentheses and here you will specify how, uh, what is the name of your object in the application context. Now, in usual cases you won't do this, but I just wanted to, to show you this and to show you that uh, Sp Spring uh, creates this, uh, this object by based on that add component scan. And you can see here, creating shared instance, instance of my person DAO bin. So the name has been changed. Now, what I'm going to do right now is going to go to my person controller, also add the add component annotation, go to my person service simple because when we are talking about interface and uh, implementation of the interface, you need to put the annotation on the implementation not on the declaration, so not on the interface, but on the implementation, so in our case, in our, in our case, person service immobile. So I have here my person DAO, my person controller, and my person service immobile. And I'm going to just uncomment this, and I'm going to go to person DAO, and I'm going to add a logger, I will find a logger, the third one, logger factory as i've said before logger is basically a system print out learner much more powerful and i'm going to put person dao construct con tractor called i'm going to go to person service in Mopulu, and i'm going to put Okay, I need to also add the logger. I will find a logger. Logger factory. This get get class. Person service immobile constructor called. And I'm going to do the same in person controller. Logger logger factory get logger this get class and the same info person controller constructor called now by default if we go to my first spring boot application we are not instantiated any objects and we are not creating no person DAO no person service and no person controller we are just, you know, uh, logging to 
to our console all the beans in your application context. Now let me just start the application. And you will see here, you will see here, okay, so it was on the, uh, on the first output, so not here, but you will see here, our logs. So we, you see person dog constructor called, and as, if, as I told you, logger basically adds you the date, adds you an info, adds you the process ID and your class. And we see here that it has been logged my construct, my person DAO constructor ca called the person service and the person controller. Now, the only way to log this is only if we are inside the methods. So this proves us that Spring behind the scenes is creating these objects with something like this person DAO my person DAO bin equals new person DAO object. So this is what Spring does behind the scenes for this particular class based on this configuration that we have specified here. Now, if we don't specify any configuration, it will name this person DAO like this. So this is just to uh, uh, understand how add component annotation works and to prove to you that uh, Spring adds all these um, classes into our application context. Now, if we find this, so control F here, person DAO, you will see that this bin has been added, this person service email has been added, and it person, this person controller has been added. So they are now in the application context and we can reference them, uh, reference them and use them in our application without the need to instantiate them. Now we will see this in the next videos, but for now I just want you to understand how component scan works and how co add component annotation works. Now what happens, for example, if I move this package here. So I'm going to I'm go just going to move this add controller package in my com example uh, package. So move okay factor do refactor so it will add my uh, person controller here and it it has the component annotation now what happens when we'll start the we'll restart the application so let's try to think so by default spring is going to look in my com example my first spring app package and then it will look in all the sub packages of my first spring app so all the sub packages like this star so star is just a wildcard and all the sub packages but my controller my person controller now it's now in com example controller so it's in a different package than the one that's being configured and if i start this you will see that if i try to find console controller it won't be it won't be anymore in the application context because the add component scan didn't find this uh, this app this uh, class although it has the add component it has that component annotation it's in a package which you can't uh, by default it's not being scanned now if i open this and type scan base packages and type com example and if i start it again you will see now that if I want to find person controller, now it's being added to my application context. Why? Because I specifically told where is the base packages and which to look. And now the difference from this example is that it's look is going to look in this package and all of its sub packages. So now my person controller class it's in the sub package of com example uh, package. So now it's being added in this application context. So let's move to the next video.